to get our hands on that 20,000. And you can't stay sober and out of jail. I didn't thought you asked me, Frank. I, I, I waited till one of them showed up. Who showed up? That marshal? No, it was that other fella. Uh, I think he killed Ben. That sounds about right. That brother of yours should have been here by now. Unless maybe he double-crossed us and took off with the money. What makes you think that other fella killed him? I ain't never seen anybody as good with a gun as Ben. That may be you. No, Ben wouldn't have done that. I know it. He wouldn't leave here without me. Yeah, maybe you're right. I don't think he'd leave you either. And that's not all. I, I seen that fella come in the saloon had some saddlebags slung over his shoulder. What did he do with the saddlebags? Well, he went and talked to the owner about renting some horses, ordered a meal, and said he'd be back. Then he went and talked to the sheriff. He had them saddlebags when he left. But when he came back, they were gone. Man, he must have the money in those bags. I might be here in the sheriff's office. You think you can keep him out of trouble? Well, we'll take a look in them saddlebags and maybe that tin box over. And that tin box over. Paper, corn. I ain't worried about them papers, but you might have a little corn. Oh, he had the money all right, kid. I got an idea. What did that lawman do when he came in the canteen? He just asked about renting some horses, then he went through some curtains, into an office. Hmm, how long was he out in your sight? Quite a while. The doc came to see him about his arm bleeding. Hmm, he might have left that money over there at the cantina. Maybe the doc might have it. Well, what are you going to do about it? Well, first, I'm going to go over to that canteen and see about that money. Now, I'm going to let you out. I want you going up out of your room. Go through the front door of the hotel. Stay out of the cantina. I want you to stay out of sight till you get sober. Or till I come get you.
Lady, I see you got a safe in here. I believe there's something in here that belongs to me. There's nothing in here that belongs to you, mister. Well, open it. Now! the horses from Bill, he said he didn't handle any money, that I'd have to come back and pay you, that all he handled was horses. So I came back to give Jesse the money and then you came out of your office. It's a good thing you came back when you did. Yeah, that's one of the fellows that I needed to catch. It looks like Jesse's coming around. I think Doc's got this guy handled. I've got to go get Jim. He's been out there too long. Uh, there's liable to be somebody else show up here looking for the money. Well, don't worry. I'll be ready if someone comes here looking for trouble. I guess you will be. Uh, that's all right, Bill. I don't need saddles. Just put a bridle on that other one. I'm going to borrow your shovel.
figured if I waited and stayed out of sight that you or that marshal would show up sooner or later. You budge and I'll blow you in two. Now you and me are gonna find that money. Back up. Now loosen that gun belt and drop it to the ground. Now drop that gun belt. Then back up. Now you and me are gonna find that money. What if I told you the money's in sundown, locked up? We're gonna look around and see about that. What makes you think the money's still here? Because if it wasn't, you wouldn't have came back. You see those bareback horses? I came back to get the saddles. Well, we're gonna look around and see. Now I noticed that you were in an awful hurry to get to this saddle. I think that money's under there. The money's in sundown, locked up in a safe. Then I'm just gonna have a look for myself. Bud, and I'll blow you in two. Finally made her back. You took your own sweet time. Well, I'm sure glad to see that a bullet in your leg for two days hasn't changed your disposition any. I was about to give up on you and start walking. And I was about to let you. What happened? Hey, girl. Well, as a matter of fact, yes, I did. 
Well, good for you. Is she pretty? As a matter of fact, she is pretty. And she can cook. And I think she might even have a little money. You did lollygag, didn't you? Well, lots happened in the, since day before yesterday when I was here last. A bunch. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to get you back to sundown. And all I want to do is sleep for a week. Not till I get those cold beers. You know what? I'm going to get you back to sundown. I will give you the money. And you can buy the beers after Doc takes a look at your leg. All I want to do is fall into a bed. There you go, hop along. I ran at some horses. You get the main one. You got it. I don't care. Can you do with that cocaine, old man? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Keep going. another day? Um, I'm not sure yet. Oh, and I apologize for the way I, I got out of control out there. I, I just get to drink and I get to, to be mean and angry like my brother. Well, you just see that it doesn't happen again in my place. Yes, ma'am. Well, if you're gonna stay another day, you need to go to the desk and pay. Say, how did you get out of jail anyways? Well, uh, I, I sobered up and the sheriff let me out. What was all that shooting about last night. A man tried to rob me and he got arrested. The sheriff was beaten up pretty bad and he's still unconscious. What's well, that's just awful. Oh. Okay, I, I think I'll be staying another night. I'll go right down there and pay that. Well, you just see that you do. Yeah, I sure hope that sheriff will be okay.
man, turn around. If you can move, kill all man, turn move around. real Someone fast. I can get it. I said I'm gonna kill you. Did you hear me? I said I'm gonna kill you. Scum. I'm gonna get you. You'll have to break out of jail to do it. I'll get you. I'll find you some way, somehow. <laughs> 